Howdy. Uh, this is Sam, a.k.a. Batman. It is Saturday, March 16th, uh, and I am uh, flying out of Austin on Monday, uh, the 18th. Um, I was supposed to fly out tomorrow, but I decided to reschedule uh, just so I can make certain everything was dialed down. Uh, Ron Brown will pick me up at about noon at the REI at the Perimeter Mall. Uh, drive me up to Amicalola, where I will register. He will then drive me up to the Springer Trailhead, which is the big stamp uh, trailhead. And I will start south, go to Springer, uh, sign in, and then head north. Uh, what I wanted to do today was go over my clothing, both what I will be wearing, what I will be carrying, and as the weather warms up, what I will be switching into. Uh, and I have all my clothing laid out here. Um, uh, that's my telescope. Uh, my uh, trousers uh, for the first part of the hike are my Prana hiking trousers. I really like these. I use them uh, on our 22 hike as well, as well as on the JMT. Um, they're somewhat uh, water resistant. Um, and I decided to go back to this old favorite of mine. Uh, I like the fact that they have multiple pockets, including, uh, I, I guess they're thigh pockets, um, or cargo pockets, they're called, and they're zippered. Um, the, one of the two changes that I did make was I switched out my smart wool boxer briefs uh, for one with a fly in them. Uh, the old ones did not have a fly in them. And it made it a little bit awkward when you had to relieve yourself. So switch those out. Uh, my hoodie is by Armor All. I got the idea from uh, Wild on the Trail. Uh, they're kind of difficult to find. I think I found this one at Academy Sports. Uh, it's got a built-in face mask along with the hoodie. It's got a cinch in the back to tighten up the hoodie. Uh, it's got thumb holes uh, in the sleeves. Um, and it also has a zippered pocket, one zippered pocket, which is helpful for carrying your wallet when you're walking around town. Um, I wore this on my uh, 22 AT attempt and uh, really liked it, and I'm going to wear it again. Um, uh, my undergarments, uh, my base layer is uh, Patagonia. I think it's called a Coolmax uh, short sleeve. Um, uh, you know, it's... I just like the feel of them on the skin. They have almost a cotton-like feel, though they do wick very well. Um, I'm also going to wear, if, if uh, the weather is cold enough, uh, I will wear a Patagonia Coolmax. I think it's a, long, it's a long sleeve. I think it's called Coolmax. Um, if the weather warms up, that'll either go in my pack or go home. Uh, that's it as far as the clothing that I will be wearing on my feet. Um, I'm going to start off with the uh, Topo Traverse. It's a new shoe. Um, I generally wear um, Ultras, but I decided to give these a shot. I've worn them, uh, you know, for the last couple of months, and I really like the fit. Uh, they, they're a little bit more sturdy um, than the Ultras, and I'm hoping they'll hold up well. I will be switching to the Ultras um, uh, the Lone Peak Sixes uh, in um, uh, Damascus. And then again, I'll switch back to the Topos when I hit the Whites uh, because they are a little rug more rugged. They do have a, a really good sole on them. Sorry, my hand shakes. Um, my socks are Darn Tough Crews. I got those from the ATC. Um, I have Injinji Toe Socks. Uh, as my liners, uh, since I started wearing these in Gingies, I have not had a blister or even a hot spot. Um, I wear compression socks or sleeves both on my calves and on my feet. Uh, they're by uh, Zensa. Uh, that's the, they, these are the foot ones um, and these are the calf ones. Um, I have a pair of Dirty Girl uh, gaiters, and I have some knee braces. And then finally, um, I have a pair of, I can't remember who makes the, oh, they're Outdoor Research Sun Gloves. Um, helps from, uh, to, to prevent wear and tear on your hands from your pole. 
what I will be carrying in my pack, uh, an extra pair of uh, uh, smart wool uh, boxers, an extra Patagonia tee. Uh, during the colder weather, March, early April, I have uh, a Patagonia, I think it's, yeah, it is Patagonia, long sleeve mid-layer um, for sleeping at night as long as, as well as a uh, Patagonia mid-layer, um, uh, you know, the, the, the um, lower portion. Um, I like to carry a pair of shorts. Uh, it's great to wear around town when you are uh, either zeroing or uh, neroing. Got an extra pair of uh, darn tough socks and in gingy toe liners. Um, and then I have the uh, bag, which is my Hyperlite, that it all goes into. Um, I will be carrying, and I carry this all the time, regardless of what the weather is. I've got a beanie, a wool beanie, uh, by North Face. I've got a buff. I've got a pair of REI gloves. They're fairly light. Um, but uh, they're warm and they are also textured uh, to make it easier to grip your pole. Um, they're also easier to deal with your phone in it. And then I've got a pair of uh, glove liners. Uh, around Damascus, maybe a little bit later, I'll be switching to some lighter clothing. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to a pair of REI convertible pants. I really like these uh, convertible pants. Uh, you can convert them into shorts. Um, and they have a lot of pockets, and they dry quickly, they're light, uh, and they're comfortable. Um, I have an OR Outdoor Research uh, cap. Again, light, comfortable, and it dries quickly. I, I will be switching out one of my um, Patagonia uh, tees uh, with a very, very light, I mean, it, 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 it weighs less than an ounce, tea. I, I picked it up. I haven't worn it before. It was in my drawer, with, still with the tags attached. And then I'm going to go with a sun hoodie by Evolved. And that is uh, Darwin on the Trails company out of uh, Flagstaff. I've worn this a couple of times. It's zippered. Um, and uh, I really like it. Um, I've got a bunch of sun shirts, but that one uh, seems to uh, make the cake. I mean, I really enjoy it. Um, that's it on clothing. Oh, one more piece of clothing. Um, and that is my Enlightened Equipment uh, Torrid uh, Puffy. Um, this will stay in my pack for the entire trip, regardless of how far I get. Uh, I will not uh, ship this home as the weather gets warmer, uh, because regardless of where you are on the trail, you're pretty much assured of cool evenings. Um, and you never know what the weather's going to hold. So that is it as far as uh, my clothing is concerned. Um, all told, uh, the clothing that I will be carrying, not the clothing that I will be wearing, um, is probably around, uh, at least initially, 25 to 30 ounces. That's kind of heavy. Uh, but in the springtime, uh, probably Damascus, maybe even earlier, depending upon how the weather goes, I will send home the, the two mid-layer pieces uh, and get rid of them, um, as well as the Almoral, uh hoodie. Um, and uh, so that should lighten the load a little. Uh, I'm going to step off now and then uh, uh, put all this away and start with my... Um, uh, my tent, my pack, and the other equipment that I'll be carrying. Okay. Um, I'm back. Uh, what I wanted to go over right now is my big three, or at least my big three as I'm going to start out. Uh, I've decided, uh, as far as my shelter, to go with the unbound, the Hyperlite unbound uh, zippered two-person tent. I really like the concept. Uh, I'm having a little bit of difficulty of getting um, a good taut fit on the tent, uh, and it's entirely my fault, um, but I'm working on it, and I'm going to give it a shot and take it out there. 
Um, I'm a little concerned about stability during high winds because I've been tracking the weather and they have had high winds on the trail uh, in Georgia over the last couple of weeks. Um, but I did, a, I did a water test with a, with a hose, uh, no water at all, um, held up very well. Not certain how condensation is going to work because it does have a closer fit to the ground uh, than my old z uh, duplex. Um, but I'm going to give it a shot. If it doesn't work, um, I will likely switch to one of my big Agnes tents. Um, I've got a Tyvek, um, or Tyvek as a ground cloth. Um, I've got uh, nine um, uh, groundhog stakes. I've got the large ones. Um, at least in Texas, the uh, minis have not been holding. So I got the large one. I have nine. I only need eight. The ninth is actually a back scratcher for me that I can take in the tent at night. I've got a chamois for condensation, and I've got the requisite poles. Um, I'm really hoping this tent will work for me. Um, I, I, I have never had a problem uh, with trekking pole, pole tents before. Uh, it's just that over the last couple of weeks, I've had some difficulty in getting a taut uh, set on, on this particular tent. But again, I, I think it's more my issue than it is the tent's issue. Um, uh, sleeping gear. Um, I have an enlightened uh, revelation. Uh, I think it's a regular wide. Um, I use this uh, on the JMT and on the AT and 22, and I've used it numerous times before, primarily in the Sierra. Um, I have my uh, Nemo Tensor, uh, which uh, basically saved my life. I actually uh, had been carrying, and I won't name the other tent, or the other, excuse me, the other pad on our 22 hike. Um, I lost two, um, two uh, holds um, by the time I got to the knock. Uh, so I bought this Nemo Tensor. I actually bought a pad at Mountain Crossing that went um, after my, the same type of pad went um, I don't think it got past um, Hawk Mountain. Oh no, it was Gooch Gap when it went. So um, I bought another pad, in, same type in Gooch, uh, excuse me, at Mountain Crossing, and I uh, ended up having to replace that at the knock. Uh, this is, it's heavier uh, than my other pads, but it's held up well. Our value's fairly good. Um, I don't think they make it anymore. I think it might be replaced by something else. Um, I am going to carry a pump bag, but I also broke down and bought one of these, uh, I think they're called Flex Tail. It weighs about an ounce. I've used it to blow um, that pad up. Uh, not only does it blow the pad up, but it will help deflate. Um, uh, the only problem is that it, it, it uses a three volt battery. I'm gonna have to carry an extra one. Um, and there's not a lot of those around. They're a little bit hard to find and they are expensive. But uh, as you can see, here, I'll get right down to it. You can take a look at it. it weighs about an ounce, maybe a little bit more than an ounce. And it, it, it works pretty well and it's pretty effective. If that fails on me, it will either go home or into the trash and I'll rely on the pump bag. Uh, I've got a Gossamer Gear foam pad. This will go home fairly early, depending upon what the weather is. Uh, sea to Summit pillow. I've got my booties. Again, they will go home fairly early, depending upon the weather. Uh, I've got an outdoor research uh, cap that I wear at night. Um, and that is my uh, sleep gear. Um, all told, I've, I've used all of this, these materials before except for the new uh, pump. Um, and it all fits in this Hyperlite, uh, I think they're called cubes. Um, so that's, that's it on the sleep gear. Uh, my third part of my big three is my pack. I am going with the unbound uh, 55 liter pack. Um, I, I was wary, I wanted to get the 40, but I was wary of it because when I'm out west, uh, carrying that bear canister takes up a lot of room. Uh, I have a Hyperlite phone pouch, and this is a, um, this one right here, I picked up from 
uh, Darwin on the Trails Company evolved. I really like, this is probably the best water pouch that I've, I've had, you know, experience in using. It works really well. Uh, it is stable. Um, the water bottle doesn't flap around. Um, so I really like it. I, I'm looking forward to using this pack. I've, I've carried it out a bunch of times. It carries well. I actually added uh, load lifters. I saw them online and uh, I saw a video online about adding them. So I added the load lifters. I've actually suggested to uh, Hyperlite that they add load lifters. Um, uh, you know, it's got extra wide uh, pockets, side pockets for you can fit two water bottles in there. Um, the only question I have is the, the mesh doesn't stretch out very far, and I'm wondering whether that will improve with age. Uh, but other than that, it carries really well, uh, comfortable on the hips. Um, it would be improved if they would add load lifters, but uh, I'm satisfied with my use so far, and we'll see how it works out on the trail. Uh, I've got a Z-Pax bag liner, and I think this is called the Hyperlite. I think it's called the, the Virtus can't remember what it's called. I never, in the past, carried a fanny pack, waist belt pack, uh, because I usually carried a pack with a brain in a thousand different pockets. But I found that this is great, not only on the trail, uh, but when you go into town. So I'm happy to slap it on um, and use it. I was actually going to carry two, one around my waist and one on the sternum strap but I decided that I didn't need it, and I think Robin, when she joins me, will use it. Uh, so that's it on my big three. Um, if you have any questions or comments about it or any experience with using any of this gear, uh, just let me know. Um, okay, uh, we're going to come up with part three now with the rest of my gear, hopefully. Uh, take care. We're See you back. Um, uh, these are my cook items, my water purification items. Uh, or water filtering items, my sanitary items, and my miscellaneous, uh, uh, essentially what I call my uh, ditty bags. Uh, I have a 750, uh, this is not a totes, but this is by Evolved. Uh, again, it's Darwin on the Trails Company. Uh, a fairly poorly made koozie uh, for the pot. Uh, my pocket rocket. Uh, a clip to hold uh, food bags together uh, as they are getting um, uh, dehydrated. A pair of chopsticks, my spoon, two mini Bic lighters, a scrub pot, a cloth, mostly so things don't rattle around in the pot. This is part of the koozie. I've got my uh, mug, which will also serve as a cup. Uh, the holder for all of those items. Um, this is my food koozie. This is from um, Packet Gourmet out of Austin, Texas. Some hand soap uh, slash dish soap. Uh, some extra um, uh, Ziplocs, including a two-gallon Ziploc where I slip my shoes and anything else that might be wet at the end of the evening. Uh, and my rock line and rock bag. Um, uh, next up is I've got a uh, knock. I think this is either two liter or maybe three liter. Um, uh, my uh, Catadine Be Free, uh, which I like. It's a lot easier uh, to um, uh, clean it out. Uh, you don't need a syringe or a bottle. It's easier to back flush. I've got one... Um, I think this is a 23 ounce bottle, smart bottle, um, and I have another one down in the refrigerator right now. This is my uh, uh, drip system, including some extra smart water bottle caps. What else do I have in there? I also have uh, some um, aqua free to uh, uh, clean water. Um, this is a half inch cup. Uh, as you get further into the summer, streams are going to dry up. You're going to come to some streams that's going to, they're going to be barely flowing. And a cup like this is always useful for uh, soaping up that last bit of water. 
Um, I have my toilet paper, my deuce of spades. Uh, this is some, there's some sanitary wipes in there. I pack out all of my toilet paper. I don't bury it, and it's all going in that. Uh, this is my nighttime bathroom uh, and a trash can. Okay, coming around to the other side, coming around the pack. Uh, these are my ditty bags. Uh, this is, I think, my repair kit. Um, these are my personal hygiene items, toothpaste, uh, a foot balm, uh, some earplugs, floss, uh, my electronics, pretty much one of the heavier items uh, in there. I've got my uh, cords, a wall charger, and a 20 amp um, uh, battery charger. Uh, these are my meds, uh, my non-prescription meds, first aid, sunblock, some hand sanitizer, a uh, Sawyer DEET spray, travel spray. If I can find one of these again, I'm going to buy about 10 of them because they're very hard to find. Some lip balm and some Kleenex. And that is it uh, for these items. Okay. I'll be back and in a second. Now we're going to just finish up. Uh, first is my uh, rain gear. I have a Sunbrella by Six Moons. Not certain how long I'm going to carry this. Uh, we did use it uh, on the JMT um, and in the generally in the Sierra when we were over there, whenever we're out there. Um, we did not use it at all um, uh, when we were on the AT in 22, uh, is my recollection. So this may last the whole way. It may go home. Shortly after I start, uh, I may keep it for a while. I want to see what my usage is. Uh, no point in carrying things you don't use. Um, I have a um, pack cover by z -Packs. Um I don't care what anybody tells me how water resistant their packs are. A uh, pack cover helps. Uh, a pack cover and a bag liner. Uh, I've got uh, a z -Pack, a z uh, rain jacket. Uh, I think that it's the Virtus, maybe. Um, I really like it. I've only had one issue with it uh, on one. Uh, the pocket, the seam on the pocket separated, and they sent me a new one pretty quickly. Um, I have a pair of rain pants. They're by, I think, Mountain Hardware. They're heavy. They're almost 12 ounces. Um, I will probably keep them until at least Damascus, because in addition to protection against the rain, they're great. Uh, insulation protection on colder days and uh, protection against wind. And then I have a, a, a pair of REI uh, rain mitts. Uh, again, something that I didn't use a lot when we were on the trail uh, in 22. Um, I have an outdoor research uh, mask uh, for COVID situations, a pair of headphones, a notepad, and then a log. Uh, the log is actually uh, right in the rain. It's uh, supposedly waterproof. I've got a right in the rain pen um, and a Sharpie. Uh, there's my trail wa wallet. Uh, I have an Appalachian Trail Passport. I really enjoyed doing that uh, when we were on the trail in um, 22, and I will do it again uh, this time. Uh, I've got the National Geographic uh, Appalachian Trail topographic map guides. This is Springer to Davenport Gap. Uh, I like having a map along. I just like seeing where I am. Um, next item is uh, both my uh, ATC permit or registration, um, as well as uh, the first, I don't know, 50 pages of uh, the AT guide. Uh, there's my Garmin InReach, uh, for which hopefully people will follow me on MapShare. I've got a microphone that I, again, I don't use that much, so it may go home fairly quickly. Uh, I have a bandana, um, a quick dry towel, a Nightcore headlamp. Um, the uh, charging cable is in with my electronics. Uh, this is a uh, obviously a bag for my or case for my uh, reading glasses, a case for my sunglasses, a head net, which I have never used, actually. Um, I don't mind the bugs that much, uh, though uh, June and July in New Hampshire and Maine 
can be a little bit of a trial with the black flies and the noceums, but I won't be uh, into those areas until well after the black fly season ends. Uh, some sanitary wipes, a massage ball. Again, that's something that might go home fairly quickly. I did not use it very much on the last trip. Um, I don't know what the name of these shoes are. I've started to see commercials for them. I like them. There's a lot of people who don't like to bring, uh, you know, camp shoes along. I do. Um, I, particularly if my shoes get wet, I like to get them out and dried as quickly as possible. Uh, I've used these for water fording when we were in the uh, Sierra and on the John Muir Trail. Um, they're great in town too. Uh, next item is my seat pad, with which I will not do without. And I am going to bring a separate tarp. I think the tarp is by Hyperlite. If not Hyperlite, then it's by z uh, It's really a good thing to lay that down uh, if you're sleeping in a shelter. Um, you can also protect your gear with it as you're, uh, if it's raining and you've stopped for a snack. Um, so I'm going to try to, if I can find space for it, try to keep it. Okay, the next little doodads, and this won't be carried until probably sometime in uh, Pennsylvania. When you get to some of the northern states, uh, the AT in the northern states, a lot of the campsites will have tent platforms. And it is very difficult to set up a non-freestanding tent on a tent platform. And what this doodad does is you take your guideline, you thread it through, uh, you hook it through the slots uh, between the two board between the boards on the um, tent platform, and then you uh, it braces against the bottom of the slats, and you tighten your guideline, and hopefully uh, your tent stays erect. Um, we ran into that issue uh, a number of times in Pennsylvania. Uh, also, we ran into the issue, I think, at uh, Fontana Dam. But so that's pretty much it. Those are all my non-perishable items. I've got my food over to the side. I will not be buying my fuel until the REI at Perimeter Mall in Atlanta. Uh, I'm going to load all this up and see what she weighs. Talk in a little bit.